Public schooling traditionally involves getting on a bus, sitting in a class from 8 till 3, and doing homework afterwards. While an alternative option has been picking up steam around the area with over 2,000 students already enrolled. The Minnesota Connections Academy is a public online school that offers flexible hours. Kids work with teachers online in enrolling classes that fit their schedule, making it easy for kids to do all their activities they love to do outside of school. A lot of families are wanting to travel more. Um, when Philip was in public school, when I would have to take him out for um, tournaments, it was, okay, he's already missed so many days, there's a requirement that he has to be there, and then to get work was hard also, okay, he needs a schoolwork, ah, he can do it when he gets back. With this, he can take it with him at any time. And the textbooks, everything are all on the computer. So he doesn't have to pack those textbooks around with him, he can pull it up online and it's right there. Students still have to complete 30 hours of schooling a week that is required by the state, but they can do it at their own pace. Take Philip Atkinson, for example. Philip is a world-class jiu-jitsu competitor and does not have the time to sit in regular classes. He travels the country competing in tournaments and is ranked third in the world for his weight class. By taking classes online, he can work with teachers and do his homework whether he's in Florida or all the way out in California. When I do have a tournament, I just work ahead and get all that stuff done, and then I can worry about it later. So I'm not worrying about it when I'm there. They go hand in hand. I mean, I don't think I could have gotten better education and a better learning experience with Connections Academy and Jiu Jitsu at the same time. The online school is offering in-person information uh, sessions around the state, as well as real-time virtual information sessions. We have more information posted on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.